Welcome to the Honeymoon Mindset Podcast, discussing topics to give you tips and tools so you can choose to live your relationship with a honeymoon mindset. Here are your honeymoon mindset experts, James and Beth. Hello, everybody. Welcome to this another edition of Honeymoon Mindset. I've got a fun little game for this date tip for you. It's fun. You can call it a dream catcher. You can call it fantasy play. Whatever you want to call it. We'll call it fantasy play. We'll call it dream catcher. I don't know. Either one works. What you and your partner are going to do. It could be over dinner. It could be a relaxed night. Or it can be right before you go to bed. That'd be a really good time. It's a conversation. You pick a topic. How do we want to retire? Or what's our dream house? What's our dream car or vehicle? Dream vacation. Where are we going to go? Or if money was no object, what would we do? Now, as you're doing this fantasy play or dream catcher, you're going to sit there and add details. Like Beth and I, when we were looking at our house, looking for a property for our retreat center, we described what it's going to look like, what's going to have outside features, what it's going to feel like when you drive up to the property. When you look into the property, what is it going to look like? What's the feel? What's the the vibe? The smells? The sounds? Where are things going to be located in this house of this property? And as we're looking at it and looking at properties, we actually found the, the perfect property. A little out of our price range, but we found it. But then we used it to dream. We used it to set aside goals. We used it to get rid of things, downsize, to start beefing up our income, our bank reserves. And then something else came along that was that we didn't think of. That's what fantasy dream catcher can do. What is your ideal job? What would you really like to be doing in life? What legacy would you like to leave? What does it look like? What does it feel like? What does it taste like, smell like, hear, sound? You and your partner just do that. Do it right before you go to sleep one night. Maybe two nights in a row, three nights. It doesn't matter. You can do it every night for for all I care. Take that dream catcher and just catch it. And then you sleep on it. And then you envision it even more. Okay, if we could have the perfect date, what would it be? What would be the perfect life for our kids? Imagine it. Think about it. What you're actually really doing with this dream catcher is you're planning your future. You're getting excited for things. You're t- creating change. And then when you sleep on it, you're starting to visualize it. You're getting even more excited about it. It starts to become a reality. Oh, we can't do that because of this or that. Or, Yeah, you can. You can. You can even do it five minutes, ten minutes. Just sit there. Close your eyes. What would your dream house be like? Let's just do it sort of together. Sort of secluded for me. Mm. Some are warm, relaxing. There's people walking around. Not very many, but people that we know. People that we get together with. Some indigenous people. So probably, I don't know if it's tropical or a southern state or somewhere. Relaxing. You can smell the air of the ocean. You hear sounds in the background of the birds and the trees there's some livestock too horses maybe some cattle in the area so you smell that a little bit not very often because the breeze of the water pushes it inland there's some grass but yet there's also sand the nice soft sand if i wanted to i can go out and go in the water go snorkeling or do a little fishing off the shore a cute little bungalow No two-story, one-story porch so you can watch the sunsets or sunrises. And that is how you do Dreamcatcher. 
and then you work your way back. Wow, that was magnificent. So what do we want to do to get that? Is it possible? And then it starts to become possible. You start to find ways. You start to think about it. You start to dream about it. So for this day tip, five, ten minutes before you go to bed one night, just sit there and talk to your partner. If you had your ideal ideal dream house, car, what would it look like? What it would it feel like? And then you add in taste, sound, smell, touch, and just add in all those little details. And your brain's going to make it almost come to life, to life for you. So that's the state tip. Enjoy dreaming for the future.